Hi, I'm Kevin Lawyer from Leader. We're with our Micro 2 RO machine, and today we're showcasing our new wash tank and valve kit. This kit will save you a ton of time by easily transitioning from concentrate to wash to rinse cycles by, by turning just a matter of a few valves. This kit features three stainless steel three-way valves, one three-quarter stainless three-way valve, and one one-inch banjo valve. We have our Micro 2 machine here unassembled. Now we're going to show you how to assemble the wash tank and, and valve kit on the machine. So we've got this kit here, we have all these parts. Clear braided hose, banjo valve, all of the fittings to assemble. We actually assemble this in-house for you. So this is the stainless steel three-way ball valves. We have the plastic wash tank with our bracket to install as well and the three-way stainless steel valve included as well. Hi, I'm Shane. I'm with Leader of Operator. I'm here with Kevin today. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to assemble our micro tank wash kit and valve assembly. Um, so let's get going. So this is what's going to come in a box. Um, you're going to end up with two bolts here. They are half inch. We'll take these out. Now it's important that you put this on the back here. You're going to slide the bolts through. And one more. So from the top to here is five and three quarters of an inch. Now we're ready to assemble the valve kit itself. So we're taking the 916 bolt out. And we're going to slide this in between the frame and the bracket of the membrane housing. Reassert the 916 bolt back in with the washer and the 916 nut. Now we have our valve assembly attached to our machine. Now we're going to attach our one inch nipple. We need a pipe wrench to do that. And what I would recommend doing is I like to use a little RTV sealant. Just a little, don't need a lot. We'll just start by threading that in there. Get a little easier if we take this off. Let me go to use the pipe wrench. So again, I'm going to use some more of the sealant. Just 
Take your time when you're putting this on that you don't cross thread the plastic onto the stainless steel. You're also gonna have a three quarter inch barb 90. Again, we're gonna use a little bit of the sealant. You don't need any tool for this. And you kinda of, kinda of want it on a pinch just to the back of the machine. Okay, you're also gonna have two straight adapters. Again, we're gonna use a little bit of the RV sealant. And these are gonna screw right into the back of your flow meters. I like to get them in as tight as I can with my hand. Then I'm just gonna use a socket to snug them up. And now we're ready to assemble hoses. So the first thing I like to do when I'm assembling hoses, especially some braided hose, is I like to use a little bit of food grade grease. And I'm simply gonna take a little bit of that. You can use a brush or you can use your finger. Just go around them nice and lightly. This will help the hose slide on easily. And I like to do this all in one step. So there's also two other tools that are gonna make this job a whole lot easier. A torch, which most people will have, and a heat gun. Today we are gonna use the torch. And you wanna simply back and forth. Try not to stay on the hose too long. Okay, in the kit you're gonna have two half inch hoses. One is gonna be 17 inches. We're gonna start with that one first. That is gonna to go to the V3 valve. And the V3 valve is gonna to go to the permeate, which is gonna be your blue sticker. Now we're gonna go with your 13 inch hose, which is gonna to go to your V4, to your concentrate, red sticker. Now we're gonna go with your wash tank hose. This is gonna be a three quarter inch hose. Again, we're gonna heat this. Right here. We'll 
slide that on. We're going to put it down into the wash tank through this hole. Now we have a 32 inch hose, which is going to go to the three quarter inch valve off the bottom of the wash tank to your one inch valve on your feed pump. Again, we're going to heat those. And one last important step. Is to tighten up all our band clamps. So that's the total assembly of our wash tank and valve kit assembly. It should take you anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to assemble. For full printed instructions of what Shane just did, they will be included in the kit. And for prices and availability, you can check our website or you can visit a local dealer.